Today's match is brought to you by Direct Waste Management Limited and Orca Telecom. Well, this is the biggest day in Brora Rangers 135 year history. They've already wrapped up the North of Scotland Cup already this season, but a win here at Kynock Park will see them crowned champions of the Highland League. And David Kirkwood's men looking to make an impression early on. Here's Andrew Gregg skipping beyond the Keith backline. Now it's Stephen Ross. Ross Tokley. Greg once more in the thick of the action. Keith trying to get the ball clear though. Ross for Brora. Whips the cross in. Well, Xander Sutherland was lurking. And Brora looking to make an impact early on. They have a corner. In comes the said corner. Mackay flicks it on with the header. And it's saved down low by Daniel Bell. Stephen Ross tries to get the ball back in. Now Ross Tokely. Well, some start for the visitors. Tokely sends it into Mackay. Xander Sutherland. Now Andrew Gregg flicks it back in towards Mackay. And it's knocked away and behind the way to safety. Well, Keith, the home side, will be looking to settle, but Broda not letting them do so. Mackay trying to force the ball through for Sutherland. He's beat Daniel Bell. S Sutherland tries to force the ball back across the face of goal, but Daniel Bell was there to make the save at the second attempt. Sutherland, he's onside. Great chance for Broda. Daniel Bell with another super save. Here's Grant Monroe. A big man for the big occasion. Finds Stephen Ross. Wonderful ball forward. Ross sends it in. Daniel Bell gathers. Mackay. Oh, that's Dale Gillespie forcing his way through. Out comes Bell to make the save. Monroe gives possession away to Bruce Raffle. It's Raffle for Keith. Looking to get the shot away. Blocked by Monroe. Bell punches clear. We're going to have it once more with Xander Sutherland. Whips in the cross. It's knocked away. Well, these Brora fans are certainly enjoying their afternoon. A goal would uh, just help the rest of them on their way. As Monroe picks up. Live the ball forward. Stephen Mackay! That's a great strike from Stephen Mackay! Grant Monroe picked him out. Stephen Mackay turned on a sixpence. And fired beyond Daniel Bell, the Keith goalkeeper, with no chance whatsoever. And what a way to open the scoring. Here's Mackay once more. Daniel Bell out smartish. Well, Keith and all sorts of problems now early on as Xander Sutherland picks up. Chips the ball in. Mackay's there with the header, and Daniel Bell once more with a tremendous save. Well, Daniel Bell really keeping Keith in. This is a contest. Broda could easily be 5 or 6 nil up here. They lead by a goal. Here's Andrew Gregg. Whips in the cross. It's helped away to safety. Only as far as Ross Tokely. Caught late by Stuart Massey, but play on says the referee. As Gavin Morrison has a goal, it's saved by Bell. Mackay's still there for Broda. And the men in Maroon eventually get the ball away to safety. Monroe finds Mackay once more at the in the thick of the action is Stephen Mackay as Joe Mallon gets his first touch of the afternoon. Here's Stephen Ross now. Ross just beaten to the ball. And Keith can uh, breathe a sigh of relief for the time being as Broda. Look for a second. That's a lovely ball from Sutherland. Mackay is onside. And Stephen Mackay slots the ball beyond the goalkeeper. Clinical from Stephen Mackay. That's goal number 36 of the season for the Broda skipper. And that cool finish under the body of Daniel Bell looks like wrapping things up for Broda Rangers. They've only played 34 minutes. Sean Keith for Keith. The ball sent through towards Stuart Massey. Well, two Broda supporters on the far side certainly enjoying their afternoon. 
I'm sure their trip back to Brora will be even better. Sean Keith trying to get things going for the home men. Now comes Joe Mallon to save well. Ross. Good ball in from Ross. Xander Sutherland was lurking. Here's Andrew Gregg. Finds Sutherland. Mackay's on the knockdown. And Daniel Bell out sharpish. Sean Keith trying to make things happen. And there's the major sponsor of Brora on the far side, Ben Mackay. A lifelong Brora fan as well. Nice to see him in amongst the support too. As Ross still tries one from far out. And it's wide. Sutherland. Offside flag on the far side. The Kataks really enjoying themselves here at Kainak Park in the sunshine on Keith. The home side have a corner. It's knocked away on this far as Stuart Massey. And his drive just lacked direction. Sutherland doing ever so well on the far side. Wins a corner for Broder. He'll take it as well. And it comes towards Tokley. Knocked away to safety. Andrew Gregg is there to pick up the scraps. And it comes from Gregg straight through to Daniel Bell. Evan Morrison, caught late by Bruce Raffle. Wayne Cusseter says free kick. It's Morrison who takes. Finds Danny Mackay. Danny Mackay chips it in. And Daniel Bell makes the save. Morrison. As well in the midfield. Stuart Massey sends it out to Robbie Collinson. He's tackled well by Tokley. And Tokley sets Xander Sutherland off and running. That's a great interception. Xander Sutherland gets the ball across the face of goal. And Daniel Bell makes another tremendous save. Tochley with the header. And it's wide of Bell's right-hand post. Martin McLean. Finds Xander Sutherland. Drives across the face of goal. And it flashes wide. Agonisingly wide for Xander Sutherland. He must feel he can't quite beat Daniel Bell this afternoon. Here he comes once more. Bumped off the ball. Was that a penalty? Oh, Wayne Cusseter says no. Dale Gillespie. Powerful running from Gillespie. Finding Sutherland. Gets the ball back. Chips it through and just no takers in white. Martin McLean. Back to Gillespie. Lovely ball forward. Perfect for Sutherland. To look up. Pick out Mackay. Ross is there too. In goes Morrison with the header. And it's straight into the gloves of Daniel Bell. Sutherland. Gets away from Ross Still. Great ball in from Sutherland. And Mackay was outstretched trying to get the hat trick. Scott Robinson with the nasty looking tackle. Picks up a card as well in the process as Morrison curls one into the side netting. Evan Morrison. Lovely ball through for Mackay, who gets away from Stuart Hutchin. And it's punched away at the second attempt by Daniel Bell. Oh, Mackay desperate for the hat trick. Monroe at the back post. Once more, Bell makes his save. Not cleared away yet. In fact, it is from Matthew McDonald. Knocked all the way up as far as Dale Gillespie. Broder will come, come once more. Sutherland. Chipped forward towards Mackay. Might fall for Gavin Morrison at the back post. And blocked on its way to goal. It's Danny Mackay who knocks the ball back in. Keith just trying to see off Brora from adding to their two-goal tally this afternoon. They're doing very well to do so as well. As Morrison slides in, Xander Sutherland 
tries to pull the trigger, does so with the second attempt, and Daniel Bell makes another tremendous save. In comes the corner, Bell knocks away, on as far as Ross Tokley, and Ross Tokley fires past Daniel Bell. Well, a man who's won medals at the very top level in Scottish football, he will win a Highland League medal, and he seals Brora's title win with a vicious strike. Well, the Brora fans certainly enjoying themselves now, and too right, they deserve it. It's Stephen Ross, sent through on goal, and Daniel Bell once more, he's had a tremendous afternoon. Sutherland with the corner, knocked away at the front post from Scott Robinson, helped back in. Keith managed to finally hack it clear. Ross. Inside to McLean, all the way across the face of goal to Sutherland, and Daniel Bell makes another tremendous save. Still Xander Sutherland. Squares for Ross, and it's knocked off the line by Stuart Hutchin. Well, Xander Sutherland, not many goalkeepers have kept him out this season, but Daniel Bell certainly has been one man who's been able to keep Sutherland and Brora for the best of the game at bay. Beaten three times this afternoon, but Brora could have had a lot more goals. And Graham Macbeth, the Keith manager, well know that. They are the champions after all, and they will clinch the championship win in a matter of moments. But still they go forward, looking for goals. Mackay on a hat-trick. Bell punches clear. Monroe, out muscles Sean Keith, gets the ball back, it's Grant Monroe storming forward and eventually Bruce Milne tidies up by knocking back to his goalkeeper, only straight as far as Stephen Ross though, can he shoot from far out and it's Stuart Hutchin who gets the block in. Ross, he's got McLean and Watson for company, now Sutherland on the far side, does well as Ander Sutherland. Is this the moment he beats Bell? Goes towards goal though. It was a defender who blocked it. And eventually Bell watches it fly past his right hand post. Well it's party time in the enclosure on the far side. And these Broda fans deserve every moment of it. There's the final whistle from the referee Wayne Cusseter. He makes it official. Broda Rangers are champions of the Highland League. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely knackered. Um, great support again from the boys, and obviously it's my third league medal. But I tell you what, it means just as much as the first and second, if not more. Oh, it's just a good feeling. I think we came here today knowing a win would win us the league, so it's just a case of playing our usual way. Don't treat it any differently. Treat it as any normal game. We came here, we got the win. Now a clean sheet, and everyone's delighted. Just so proud of the the village and. Uh, the team, the players, David Kirkwood, Stuart Golubet, Ross Tolkley, Alan Daff, um, just uh, humbled to be uh, in that in that gang. Uh, supporters have been phenomenal all season for us and a uh, huge part of what we've done. Um, and to be fair, there's no point in doing it without them, so uh, it means everything to me to, for them to be here today. Oh, I think they've been, well, you can see today, you can see that there, they've been absolutely fantastic all season. I think they've been at every away game. Uh, there's a bus for every away game, and that support's helped us a lot, you know. It's a fair effort for them travelling all the way out of Aberdeen, what they do, so just a thank you to them. Just thank you for this season. It's one of, been one of the best seasons I've had in football, and they've been absolutely tremendous. Look at them, they're absolutely br brilliant, they've been absolutely great. Well done, boys. celebrate the sum tonight <laughs> uh, well we're getting in the training rooms have our wee celebrations we'll probably mingle with the fans later and we've got a dark night tonight and then rest so that'll be good to be honest yeah just really really happy with the boys we're all going in the darts and well then just really happy just honestly hard work the whole season and 
it's paid off. We've lost one game, John, two, and we're putting in performances like that every week. And that's just, it's brilliant, it's a great feeling. How are you going to celebrate this tonight? Um, I think it's going to take more than tonight, so I think we'll uh, we'll probably reconvene next Thursday or Friday and uh, discuss what we've done in between now and then. I think to be quite honest, we apart from you know the Highland League Cup in terms of going out of that for uh, different reasons. I think in, over the league campaign, I think we can't have any, you know, any many disappointments. I think you know it's 30 games played. I think it's 28 wins, or sorry, 29 wins, 28 wins, possibly two draws and a loss. And I think uh, over the course of the season, I don't think anyone really can grudge us it. You know, I think it's been over the last 18 months. You know, the last maybe even 24 months, we've been trying to do a wee bit of project here and. You know, signing players that have you know won things in the past, and certainly players I've played with, and it's been a knock-on effect. And I think today is uh, kind of you know, nullified that in terms of what we've been trying to do, really. Well, obviously it was brought us today, Charlie, but we try to stress the lads it was about us as well. We needed a response and a performance after last Saturday's first half in particular. But uh, I think we got a, a mere solid performance for the boys. I was disappointed that Michael Rolton was out before the game, but uh, Hutchie went back in there, and I think. The first two goals were mistakes, so it wasn't as though we were getting carved open, but Daniel Bell had a great second half and pulled off some great saves to keep the score down, but I was actually quite pleased with the amount of possession we had, and I thought maybe in the first half of our final ball or choice of pass let us down a wee bit. But probably the first goal was disappointing because I thought we were just finding our feet after a nervy first five minutes, and we knew they would come out the traps quickly and try and win the game and win the league as quickly as they could. And I think we were nervous first five, but I think we are just finding our feet when we lost the first goal, and that was unfortunate. Uh, the second one was a wee bit of an error as well, so disappointed at half-time that we were two down, to be honest. I feel fantastic, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of expectation on the boys today, um, but I'm glad we've come here. We've put in a solid performance, and, and we've delivered in front of all our fans. So, um, you know, I joined Brora for, for this moment, and um, it feels fantastic, it feels great. In all fairness, I probably should have had four or five, to be honest with you, the amount of chances I had. But, um, you know, there was always that expectation to get the first goal early and, and Zander a couple of chances, and so did I. And we were just wondering when it was going to happen. So to see the ball hit the back of the net um, for my first goal, it was fantastic. And then the boys just kicked on from there, so it was great. You've only lost one league match this season. Was there yeah. any pressure at all on yourself and the side to come down here to Kynich Park to win the championship? Yeah, it's a, probably a good pressure, to be honest with you. Like I said, there's expectation. You know, the record we've had to date has been fantastic. Like I say, we've only lost one game. We've not yet lost an away game. So we were confident we could come here and win without being too complacent. Um, but, you know, the, the boys have been fantastic at the back. Um, you know, Joe has kept his 19th or 20th clean sheet today you know it's just phenomenal so when you've got that foundation to build on you go into games and you know that you're probably not going to lose any goals it gives the boys up top a huge confidence to to, to um to, to sort of realize that we're going to go and win the game you know overall the, the team performance they kept they seemed to keep battling away uh was there anybody stood out in the keith team oh, for you today? daniel obviously i thought sean keith i thought we got our tactics right we changed marty in a wide area to get a bit of height for daniel's kickouts robbie on one side marty on the other and i thought sean keith was excellent at holding the ball and that's what our tactics were if the, the ball was played up to sean he would give us a bit of time to let the back four who we knew would be overworked up the park if there was one player he was getting missed it was he didn't want it to be michael rotten because he's been excellent since he came in i think his money well spent we did pay a, a sizable fee well a reasonable fee for him for, for a junior player, but uh, I think at his age and the quality he's got, and he's got a desire to finish his career in the Highland League, and I, I think he's been an excellent buy, and he's got other players like Stuart Hutchin and Ross still playing well as well, so he's been excellent. You mentioned Stuart Hutchin, he's been team captain the last few weeks, he just turned 21 recently, yep. he, he's had quite a few good performances of late. He's been by far the best player since I've come to the club, consistent every week works hard at his training, leads by example and uh, he's very much in the running to be captain next season as well. You'd probably say over the course of the season it's obviously been a, a team effort. Uh, has any particular player stood out, made his mark? 
in your opinion? Uh, it's, it's it's hard to give people praise, you know. Xander Sutherland's chipped in my goals. Um, you know, Grant Monroe coming in at a good time for us obviously helped. We're Ross, you know, Ross totally come there too. Good experienced players. I think over the course of the season, when you look at the goals against Colin and obviously the goals we've scored, I think when you look at the number of clean sheets he's had, um, I think Joe Mullen's been a an absolute fine for us. I think that was a, I wouldn't say a major concern for us last season, but certainly something we identified that if we, you know, we could get a really good good goalkeeper and a sort of back four out, then we could really do anything we wanted really from middle to front. But over the course of the season, I'd probably single out Joe Mullen and possibly into the latter stages, Gavin Morrison. You had a big travelling support from you uh, down with you today. How have you enjoyed playing in front of the Brewer oh, fans great. this season? We, to be fair to them, they've, they've turned out in their numbers to, to all of the away games. Um, you know, we've had at least a bus full every game, so it's it's nice for us and, and the rest of the boys to, to walk out um, to the support that we get, and um, it's just great that we can repay uh, the support they've shown us all season. Over the course of the season, they've been absolutely fantastic. You know, the kind of... You know, they kind of bought into what we were trying to do in terms of who we were signing and who we were taking on board, um, which really, really helped. But I think once we got to the, the cup final against Nair in the North of Scotland Cup, we won that 3 0. We had a really big travelling support that day in Inverness. And I think, you know, over the course of the season, they've been absolutely fantastic home and away. And I, th and I, th I, think, I think we've kind of repaid that in terms of what we've done. I think, you know, as I said, we've only had two draws and one defeat. And I think for every travelling fan, or whether it be home and away, is, is very rewarding indeed.